Hello and welcome back to Telltale's Game of Thrones. For some reason, I wanted to say welcome back to Deus Ex Mach to uh, Deus Machina Demon Bane there. <laughs> oh boy. Now, Ryan has to be our primary target. We get Ryan out and bring him home. Once he's safe, he can face the White Hills head on. Hmm. And what of Griff and his men? But we can only take this occupation for so long. If you think I'm giving up on Ironrath, you're wrong. By keeping this family together, Ironrath will stand. Roderick is right. We are nothing if we leave Ryan behind. Then... It's decided. We're bringing Ryan back. Question is how? We still don't have the men to hold our own home. Let alone Storm High Point. Which means we'll have to be stealthy. We lost most of our men with Gregor. At the Twins. Thankfully, Roderick secured an alliance with the Glenmores. But those forces mean nothing until after the marriage. Yeah, he's right, unfortunately. That means we have to count on Asher and Mira. How? Asher means to sail home from Essos with a company of hardened sellswords. But they're not bannermen. We'll need to pay them for it. Which is why Mira's part to play is just as crucial. She can get us the coin we need in King's Landing. You yep. don't imagine we have the luxury of waiting for them. Asha and Mira are a long way from here. Mm. I have faith in my children. I don't think Lud Whitehall will kindly stand by while we pull ourselves together. If we have we to need go to, wait to buy battle time. before we're ready, we risk losing everything. But sometimes you have no choice. That time may indeed come, but it's not now. The White Hills aren't ready for war. It won't be long before you're able to take action yourself. Well, one way or another, there's a fight brewing, so I have much to prepare, and men to train. My lord? Very good. Get on that. My lord, there may be something we can do now. Yes. A voice from High Point, Gwyn Whitehill. Lord Whitehill's daughter? The very same. After the hells that came from her and Nasha. Oh, Despite God, all that, why, uh... she's willing to meet with you. I hope you trust me enough as Sentinel to consider this. It would be wise to hear what she has to say. Arrange a meeting. What she has to say may prove useful. I believe she can be trusted. But best use caution nonetheless. So we had a classic Romeo and Juliet situation. And I'll make sure no one else knows. Family For now at feud, least. Feud. Children in love. Good. And I'm sorry, there was actually an incredibly Handle simple solution right with of Romeo and Juliet. And she may even help Would us you like to know what it was? When the, time the pair comes. of them should have gone to uh, the Prince of the City. And basically said, we're in love, we want to get married, our parents would never allow I it. Want the dove pie he would immediately see it as a means to end the feud, we'll which he wants to do. And, these and flowers. he would uh, move to heaven and earth to see them married the and happy. Lands. Mira, are you listening to me? It strikes me this situation is very Marjorie. similar. Good tidings to you today. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. And you, Lady Mira. A word in private, if I may. I'll return her shortly. Who would I be to deny Lord Tyrion? <laughs> Very soon you'll be the queen. And if you're anything like the current one, you'll deny me all you like. Please excuse me for a moment, my lady. I promise I won't keep you long. I don't think Marjorie's very happy with the alliance I'm forming with Tyrion, but let's face it, of the people really I trust Marjorie in this show, well, Tyrion's the one I distrust the least. least favorite, Everybody man. else I actually trust is dead. What did you want, my lord? Well, no, I kind of trust John Snow. It's too honourable to uh, but I bring you a bit betray of anybody. I've arranged for the Crown to purchase Forrester Ironwood. A royal decree sits on my desk now, and I'll have my squire Podrick see to it at the first opportunity. You'll bring prosperity to your family. They're lucky to have you. You honor me, Lord Tyrion. Thank you. So that should get us I know the crown indeed. doesn't hold my family in high regard. Only you could make such a strong gesture to House Forrester. Don't think I've forgotten your side of the arrangement. As handmaiden to the new queen, you will undoubtedly prove useful. Enjoy the festivities. Goodbye, Lord Tyrion. 
Surely, though, by this point in Today the timeline, of all days, you must have sent Pod you away. You know I didn't want you talking to him. You're playing a dangerous game, Mira. Sarah will help me with my gown and hair. But... I'll deal with you after the wedding. Ah, oh boy. So, hang on. Yeah, Come sure. with me, Sarah. He has to have sent Pod away by this point. Because Pod's well clear of the... Oh no, no, Pod is still... No, Pod is still there at this point, isn't he? Gary! Easy now. Sorry. I was just... keeping at the ready. That's good. Don't lose that. I understand your uncle paid you a visit. Hmm. What did he want? Not many people pass through here. What brought him this far? There's news that House Forrester is in trouble. I'm sorry to hear it, but you have to leave all that behind. He knows. Especially now that you're a ranger. Aye. I know you had told me you could stand with these men, but not every brother's a friend, if it came to it. And you were in trouble north of the wall. Any of them you'd trust by your side. You know these men. Mm. Who do you want watching your back? Finn is actually good enough. Finn can handle himself. I bring him to a fight. I'm glad you can trust your brother. I'll remember him. Errolt Holt of White Harbor, Corlys Wells from Stony Sept. Ah, new intake. And finally, we've got more spawn of nobility joining us. No. Brit Warwick. Of oh, House Whitehill. I really it can't be. House Whitehill. Make sure you're not bringing this any one to the Boltons. There'll be a hot meal in the mess hall. Hmm. After that, we'll be sorting out gear at the armory. Oh, this Garrett. is going to be awkward. Gary, what's the matter? You know him? Yep, he's the one who's going to do the murder. Get moving! That man murdered my family. What? Snow! See these new recruits to the maester? Don't do something you regret. Unfortunately, <laughs> murdering is one of the uh, things you can get out of uh, being punished for if by joining Watch. It isn't the fucking pig farmer. I'm here because of you. Got sent to the wall for that little party I do with your family. Don't think it's over. Best watch your back. What are you waiting for, recruit? Welcome to the wall, brother. Looking forward to it. That's enough. Oh boy. I said move! I'll be seeing you, This farm is going to get socially awkward. To be fair, if we can avoid it getting murderously awkward, then we're, we're doing well. <laughs> I've got the bloody pigeon This isn't pie. fair. We were supposed to be up there. I'll never see another wedding like this. I don't know what you did with Tyrion Lannister. That made Cersei want to punish you. But it never should have affected me like this. I'm so sorry. I had no idea any of this would happen. But what Tyrion Lannister did for me, it may have saved my family. I hope that's true, Mira. I really do. <sighs> because you don't know how furious Marjorie is at you. Yeah, she did seem a little ticked. But when I think she's about I to have bigger problems. She Which unfortunately means I've just talking about who bet all my money on the wrong pony. I probably shouldn't have even told you. But I suppose you have a right to know. Tell me who it is. Why? What are you going to do to her? Sarah? It doesn't matter. It was just names. Because if Tyrion hasn't you. sent that deal out yet... Look. You once promised to help me with Marjorie when our positions were reversed. That meant everything to me. Maybe now I'm in a position to help you. Otherwise, Marjorie's going to make you leave King's Landing. You're pushing her to it, Mira. You're making a lot of drama out of nothing, Sarah. This will pass. Marjorie and I will be friends again. I'm not going anywhere. For your sake, Mira, I hope you're right. Look! The pie. Oh, Here we no. go. They're already serving the pie. Oi. We're missing everything. I know you. You were in the gardens the other night with Damien. And there's Before a fairly big distraction. I have a few questions to ask you. 
That's it. What were you doing there with him? Mira? Don't think I don't know it was you. So what if I was with him? Uh, seven hells. <sighs> you there, girl. I need a towel or a wet cloth, something. Lord Morgren. You'll need to find someone else. I'm not finished Are with her. Are you sick, man? You think I have time to bother with handmaidens? Release her or I'll have Queen Cersei find you another job. Get the man a towel. <laughs> She's starting to get a bit suspicious, isn't she? Well, I just ruined a perfectly good shirt to come to your rescue. No need to explain what that was all about. We all have our own mischief to hide. That was kind of you. I do appreciate it. Well, I didn't do it merely for your benefit. Then... Why? Perhaps I recognize a kindred spirit. It's not every little handmaiden who can steal an ironwood decree with the crown right out from under my nose. Consider me impressed. My partners, I am afraid to say, felt rather differently about it. Mm. You flatter me, my lord. I'm only saying you have potential, my lady. Your problem is, you still think like a handmaiden. And how should she be thinking? Do you even understand why Tyrion gave you the Ironwood deal? Because it wasn't out of the kindness of his heart. I'm no fool. He wants something from me. Access to Marjorie. Or, perhaps he just knew he could get the cheapest Ironwood from me. Very observant. Mm. You are no mere handmaiden. I remember what it was like to be new to this game. You feel like you're drowning, don't you? There's no oh, one what's the old line? Really when you play trust. the Game of Thrones, you win or you, you die. More than anything is an ally. I could be that for you, Lady Mira. Why? Is that something you'd be interested in? And what exactly are the terms of this offer? What do you get out of it? A smart question. So, let me be blunt. Circumstances have put us at odds. But what if we were to work together? Control the price of Ironwood together? We could get very, very rich together. Or should I go back to Lord Whitehall? Who has proven to be very interested in it? Here we go. And there's the fan, and there's everything hitting it. Unfortunately, I think betting everything on Tyrion at this point is a bad idea. Because, of course, he's not guilty. But she doesn't really care. What happened? Joffrey's oh. dead! I'm afraid it just became a very bad time to be linked to Tyrion Lannister. Tell me that you got that Ironwood decree from him before the wedding. Oh, no. He said it was waiting for me on his desk. <sighs> what a shame. Go get it. Potential. Now. I'm afraid any chance of our alliance has become quite impossible. You understand, Lady Mira? I can get it. I'll get it back from his chamber. That would not be an easy task, especially now. It's doable. But if it were to disappear, perhaps we could talk again. Oh dear. <laughs> Admittedly, the Purple Wedding is probably the most satisfying thing that's ever happened Lady on Mira. this show. It'd be terribly disappointing to see it on the end of a pike. Hmm. Okay, that to me seems like an excellent point to end this part. So I'll say thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next.